It's time for our next stop on our road to Khabarovsk. It sees us in the Tier 7 Soviet destroyer Kiev. Now I don't have a highlight reel to start for y'all, and it's not because the Kiev is a substandard ship. It just has some technical difficulties and of course Russian mail. <laughs> but overall, the Kiev is not a flashy ship. She is just a solid ship where you can expect to do just solid and sustained damage at a nice high level. You know, I wasn't around in the early days of warships and all I have is legend and rumors of the OP-ness of the Kiev and the stories of her nerfing which is legit. She definitely was nerfed and the biggest and most important nerf of all was to her hit points. Right now the Kiev has 12,800 hit points and that is very, very poor when compared to her fellow tier seven destroyers, the Mayhan, the Sims, the Buscovicia, the Hatsaharu. The 12,800, that is, that is pretty much on par with a tier five destroyer. So when you take a hit, you go down <laughs> hard. But even with that nerf, the Kiev is still a very powerful ship. And I have two replays that are gonna showcase just how powerful this ship can be. So sit back, grab some popcorn, grab a notepad if you want, <laughs> take some notes and enjoy. Our first replay sees us top tier on the map, Two Brothers. I have a southeastern spawn. Therefore, I am going to do what DDs do best, <laughs> or should do, and go scout for our team. I am running the concealment expert on this Kiev. It's still debatable as whether or not I want to keep concealment expert on this ship. I'm just kind of testing it out. So with the concealment expert, it brings me down to a 7.9 detection range, which is very nice. It's still uh, not anywhere near the U.S. destroyers or the Polish Wyskowicza at seven and a half. I guess that's close enough for government work. <laughs> but there are other options you can go. The tier four skill of advanced firing training is a must for your Kiev. But a secondary tier four skill could be the increased hit point pool. If you do that, it'll bring you up to on par with your fellow tier seven destroyers. And of course, demo for more fires, because who doesn't like fires? <laughs> but I decided I want to try the Concealment Expert and just see how that changes things. It, it gives you a, a 900 meters of Invisifier range, which really isn't much. But for me, it's all about disengagement for Concealment. That's, that's the important thing for me, for Concealment Expert on this guy, is being able to stop firing and run away. Oh, and there is the Sims, Tally Ho, Tier 7 Premium U.S. Destroyer Sims. He has the wonderful rainbow gunnery <laughs> that all U.S. Destroyers and some cruisers have. So if I stay at range with this guy, oh, nice hits, I should win the battle. Because again, guys, when you knife fight, U.S. Destroyers, they want a knife fight. Soviet destroyers, you do not want a knife fight. You want to bring a gun to that knife fight. And that means stay at range. Use your guns to great effect and pound them into the ocean. <laughs> okay, we're trading shots and you can see, look at those arcs on that Sims, man. They are hard. They are never going to hit me. I am going, I'm hauling butt 42 plus knots. And I'm, I'm okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing the great damage on him that I would like to. Again, you know, when you're shooting at destroyers at range, they are, they are hard to hit. Oh, got one on the butt. <laughs> Especially if the captain is like that and moving around, shimmy shaking. Okay, I'm still detected. It could be from that Sims, but it could be from another story. They got three other guys out there. So I'm gonna hug this island and okay, so I lose detection, so he's not in front of me and he's not directly to my left. Okay, so we kind of have an idea as to where these other destroyers are. And up oh, there is a Minikaze, a tier five Japanese torpedo boat. 
let's try and shoot him. <laughs> that looks like our other destroyer is working on him. Knocked out his engine, looks like. He's popping smoke, so... Yeah, that salvo's gonna miss, and probably that next salvo is too. Oh, rubbish. But I am still detected. And it can't be from that mini, because he's in smoke, and the Sims is on the other side of that smoke, so there's another... D oh, shoots, and yep, there's the Nikki. Oh, you little cheeky bugger. We're gonna get you some key or some... <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna go straight to this island, and I'm gonna hug the island. Keep off the Nikki's detection range, because remember 7.9, and he's at 7.2 right now, so he can see me. And shoot, okay, I can shoot at that mini because we are in between the smoke, so they won't see me. So I'm using the islands for cover, guys. You know, that's really important. And hopefully, I can sneak out and catch this Nikki unaware. Oh, detected. Where is he? Yep, there he is. Six kilometers. Nice, nice, nice. A little too close for comfort for the Nicholas, so I'm gonna try to turn away from him and increase the distance between us. You can see my secondaries are going off, <laughs> which is great. I think the Kiev is one of the only destroyer maybe that actually has secondary guns. <laughs> so it is possible to get close quarters expert in this thing. So. <laughs> All right, well, engaging this Nikki, I'm doing okay damage. I wish I was uh, a little more accurate with my shots on that one. And unfortunately, I got a Konigsberg. Looks like I'm coming in, so I pop my smoke. But I want to keep moving, and you don't want to sit in your, your smoke, guys. Oh, good hit. Incapacitate a gun. And you don't really want to get comfortable sitting in smoke, guys, because that's how you die really quickly. Oh, good hits on the Nikki over 2,000. Incapacitate his engine. Doesn't look like he's rocking last stand. That's a, that's a weird one. Oh, oh, there's a mini. Oh my gosh, things are happening. <laughs> Secondaries are even going off. Oh, yo, yo, we got Konigsberg, Minikaze, Little Nickies, Battleships. Oh my. <laughs> now, our mini just laid down a smoke screen, so I'm gonna hide behind that. Switch to AP. Because AP is legit on the Kiev. And, okay, okay, hits into the superstructure. 1500. 1,000. Come on, we can do better than that. Where's the Citadels? Okay, 2,000. I'll take that. I'll take that. And a miss. <laughs> Boo. Switch back to HE because he's not showing a good broadside. side. Ain't incapacitating some torpedoes. Come on, keep peppering away. Can we start a fire? And, oh man, our, our Indy went YOLO solo and is now dead because we got two more battleships coming in. And our cap is being capped, and all we have is a battleship back there. So, oops. Let's go back to cap. <laughs> Let's go back to cap. Oh my goodness. When you're driving any ship, but especially Soviet destroyers, your detection range is so terrible, and your guns are your primary weapon. You have to really keep one eye on this game screen and the other on the mini map. Really pay attention to that mini map and see what's. Oh my goodness gracious, our Texas got nuked by that mayhem. I knew it. I knew it. So, have to, have to go back. Our cruiser is coming with us and our mini is leading the way. And, oh yeah, yeah. So, yes, you know, you got to keep one eye on the game screen and one eye on the mini map, guys. Always pay attention, you know, drive. I, I try to drive by the mini map as well, too, in this thing. Uh, that's that's a good uh, practice to get used to. Uh, it can lead you into some not -so situations. <laughs> Checking out some really nice uh, oceanfront property. <laughs> All right, fire some torps, preemptive torps. Hopefully that man will close in, but, oh, his engines are out, and let's, let's knock him down with the guns. 1800, come on, next salvo. Secondary's going off. Boom. Oh, 790. Come on. This this should do it. And yes, down. May hand down. Oh, and we got a Sims. Oh, we got a Sims in the cap as well. They tried to do a little mid-gut rush, huh? Uh-uh. A little play action. All right. He is now getting up to speed. Oh, there's another destroyer in there, too. Probably that Minikaze. Oh, good hit. 1300. 
come on, come on. Boom, 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 secondary's going off. Thousand, come on. Yep, there's that little mini. <laughs> I see you, mini. Knock out an engine, he heals it. Hit him on the nose. Come on, come on, come on, Kiev. Ooh, those are good hits, 1,300. And, gadoosh, oh, Minikaze got him. Good job there. What is it, Wolfen? Okay, turn into the Sims because, yes, there are the torpedoes. Knew they were coming, the widespread, so they're easy enough to navigate. Now, let us go kill ourselves a Minikaze. <laughs> Well, that turned out better than uh, I expected. Our cruiser, who was coming back to cap, has turned back around to engage. Looks like there, Nikki, that's still hanging up there. Oh, yep, there's the mini. Oh, <laughs> and he's reversing. Oh, poor guy. Not long for this world, mate. Look at those shell arcs. I mean, five bombers, less than five bombers away. Those are, those are gonna hit every time. And kadoosh. Okay, well, let's do to them what they try to do to us. Rush the middle. <laughs> this is a fun tactic. I mean, if if you're serious about playing it, don't rush the middle, guys. <laughs> but if you just want to have fun and you know, go crazy, you know, bring your Azuma up the middle. <laughs> Expect to get annihilated. Expect to get a lot of shit talked about you. And expect to get reported for playing poorly. <laughs> but every now and then it can work. Me and the mini. We have a couple of enemies that are going to come play with us. The Nagato and a Pensacola or two. So I'm going to stay wide of the mini because he has the best torpedo range. And I, <laughs> I want to let him use his torpedoes. And I'm going to use mine on that Nagato because it looks like he is going to get within my torpedo range. Okay, hit smoke. I think our minis pop smoke too. Turn to the broadside, launch the torpedoes. They're super fast, lots of damage in them. Sent five at the Nag. Sent the other five at the Pensy because why the hell not? <laughs> I popped my smoke. I am now cone sealed. Switch to AP. Ooh, 31. Hundred. That was a nice damage on that Pensy. Switch to AP because broadsides are awesome. And oh, two, three hits. Wow, nice. Confederate killed that nag. Boom, boom, boom. All right, AP and oh, double Citadel. 5,000 on the Pensacola. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, another nice AP hits. Oh, he's. Oh, and those all, those all deflect guys. Oh, yep, angling is a thing. Angling is a thing. <laughs> okay, Pensy number two. Citadels, I'm coming for you. Secondary's going off. Swapping in between the two Pensies. Oh, there's a secondary hit right there. That's a nice addition to the new patch. The secondary hit ribbon. Oh, come on, kill this Pensacola. Oh, got a Citadel on the other one. Come on, kill this guy, kill this guy. Do done. Yes. All right, you, Mr. Pensacola, let's try to get your Citadels. Okay, nice hits, nice hits. Come on, Citadels. Okay, nice hit. Incapacitate his turret. Come on, come on, Citadels. Oh, come on, 23. Oh, come on here. This is it, this is it. Oh, come on, man. That's, that's horseshit. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I, uh, and I, eh, sorry. It's all good, man. Kill secure. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe that. I had a couple opportunities to sit wreck that Pensacola, and it just didn't happen, but oh well, what are you gonna do, huh? I got four citadels between the two of them, though. That's, that's okay. That's okay. I would have liked more, but. All right. Nagato Congo. Get ready for some H-E hell. <laughs> Spam the H-E. I don't care about detection. Because if you can hit me from... Oh, there's a fire. If you can hit me from over 13 kilometers away, well then, kudos to you. Good job. You earned that kill. 
but they ain't shooting at me. They got a DD who's a lot closer to them than me. And oh, oh my goodness, who put that island there? <laughs> Mini map driving, guys. Sometimes it's great, sometimes uh, it ain't. Oh, Pepper in that Congo trying to light some fires. That nag is barbecuing at three places, looks like. Uh, he's pretty much done. Focus on the Congo. They're capping him, but I don't think I don't think these guys are gonna live too much longer. That nag is going down pretty quickly. Yep, nag is down. Congo, I'm sorry, mate. Euro are next. Can I get you for the Kraken though? Is that gonna happen? Kraken, Kraken, Kraken. Nope, he's using his, his health recovery. And no, no, it doesn't. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, somebody ended his day. <laughs> so victory is mine. The key in. Look at that. 100,000 damage. Several torpedoes, four ships killed, a couple fires, four citadels, and a secondary hit. <laughs> to earn Confederate and finish tops of the charts with 2,154 base XP. And the detailed report looks pretty good. A lot of HE damage, but look at that. Almost 30,000 AP damage. 20,000 torpedoes and secondaries got in on the action for <laughs> one hit for 258 <laughs> out of 48 shells fire wow don't uh, don't do the math on that guy that is very very poor <laughs> and after taxes walk away with 168,000 credits a couple modifiers here and there but that's a that's a pretty good day in the office for the kiev not generally a money maker but uh you know she can she can bring us some credits every now and then for you all right, moving into our next match. This is from an older patch, divisioned with my buddy Senor and Wust. We are bottom tier in a tier nine matchup, including a tier nine aircraft carrier. General quarters. Not much has changed between this patch and the newer patch, except aesthetics. So it's still the old score screen from way back when and the old ribbons. But this was a really great game of mine in the Kiev and I just have to share it with you guys. Now on the map, of course, is Land of Fire. You can see that the patch does include the weather effects at the beginning, <laughs> but you can see the mini map is a little different with, doesn't have my secondary range or my torpedo range or the distance of my main batteries. Like I said, this was, this was a good game, so pay attention. Okay, we have a Western spawn and the three DDs are gonna go and scout and try to find that soul DD of theirs and beat them up. <laughs> Pick on the little guy. Now, this is before I had my concealment expert captain, so my concealment is back at the uh, was eight and a half kilometers, I mean, or nine kilometers, I mean, it is terrible. It is terrible, they can see it from half the map in this thing which is why speed is really important. I do run premium consumables. I don't generally run the premium repair party because I do run last stand on this as opposed to the expert marksman, which increases your turret traverse speed. I like the last stand a lot because when your engines and your steering get knocked out, you can still putter along. But I do run premium smoke and I do run the premium speed boost because more is better. <laughs> <laughs> At least for this it is. Okay, Senor with his mayhem does have a better consumer rating than we do, so he is leading the way. And Wust and I are mostly gunboats. Okay, enemy aircraft, they are gonna see us. Generally in your destroyers, I have my AA off, but not for, oh, tally ho, never mind. Not for my Soviet DDs. I leave that AA on all the time. Oh, because I can shoot down an aircraft. <laughs> okay, Mayhem popping smoke. There he is. That's the guy we were looking for. And he is in a world of hurt right now. Three destroyers and a cruiser lighting him up. He did pop smoke, but don't know if he's going to make it out of there or not. <laughs> 
Okay, the enemy fleet is moving in. Got a nag, got a North Carolina, got a Colorado, Hotland, a Baltimore. Holy guacamole, everybody. <laughs> everybody, holy shit. Starting fires, there it is. There's that mayhem, that's the guy we were looking for. Take him down. And looks like the aircraft carrier has got eyes for Senor. <laughs> Thankfully not me. Stay away from me. And I do not want to be focused by all these guys, so I'm gonna pop around this little island and try to put it between us. And man, it is just shit is just happening, so I'm just firing at everybody. Picking different targets, shooting whoever I can. Hot Lana, back to Mayhem. He is the primary target that I want to kill, but uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, look at all those guys. Look at all that. They're everywhere. Shoot them all. My goodness gracious. Yeah, pop my smoke. Because we got eyes everywhere. And, I mean, why not? I mean, look at that. Just look at that. Big old bait ball right there. Oh, come on. Three hits for no damage of HE. Boo. So I gotta aim a little higher, try to get onto the superstructure. Incapacitate modules, light some fire. Oh, come on. What is that? I'm not firing AP. Come on. Fire in Jesus. Yep, swap to the Colorado. Bug in the replay. Oh, and light a fire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. About time. Yep, there's a there's a Ismo that is got start fires on my deck written all over me. <laughs> oh, the Ismo. <laughs> oh yes, and there is a fire. Very nice. Is he gonna put it out or is he gonna let it burn? Oh, he puts it out, so he's gonna be immune for a wee bit, twenty seconds or so, and we have lost eyes. Probably because Senor and Wust are popping smoke because they are in some serious world of hurt right now. Look at all, they got the nag and the Colorado, but I believe one of them was uh, was getting boarding party ready. All right, well, there's the Ismo. He should be susceptible to fires now. Come on, come on, get those fires going. Yeah, fire! Woo! <laughs> oh, his little little guys are looking at me now. Oh, and there's the Mayhan. He is back again. Okay, let us finish this. <laughs> just you and me walking, and you can see how effectively I can hit destroyers at 10 kilometers in this Kia, man. And he is just hoping and praying that he's hitting me. It really is. Knocked out his engine. Does look like he's got last stand though. Do you just have to change it? Yeah, and he's trying to run away. He's still firing though, so he's gonna stay detected for at least 20 seconds since his last fired. Yeah, look at those arcs come in, man. It is hard to hit this Kiev. She is a fast mamba jamba. Like I say, guys, you, you, when you're in the Soviet DDs, you do not want to bring your knife to the knife fight. You want to bring your gun to that knife fight. <laughs> that means use your speed and keep the distance. Do not want to get in close with these U.S. destroyers. They they will wreck you. I mean, it, it'll be tight, but they, they will come out on top. They have the higher, faster rate of fire, faster turret traverse, and they can, they can really lay the smack down, so. All right, well, their team has kind of bait balled over there on the western side, and we got three cruisers on the eastern side, and they look like they've come out on top versus our guys. And, oh, lo and behold, what is that? A Taiho, Mr. Carrier. Okay, I know that there is a Taiho, and there is a very hurt Mayhan right now in their cap. And I'm thinking, you know what? Let's go, let's go kill me a CV. Oh, 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 detected, okay. Mayhan, he's detecting me, I guarantee it. He is in front of me somewhere. Probably, yep, there he is. Can we kill him? Come on, 976 health, we can kill him. And we got him, Mayhan down. Now all that is left is a Taiho in front. Oh, torpedoes, torpedoes? 
Oh yeah, man, no worries. Now, let's see if I can rush the middle before that Ismo can hurt me and those other cruisers to my right come in and end my day. Uh, if I can take out this Taiho, because it looks like he was trying to help us snipe our carrier. If I can if I can light some fires and hell if I can take him down, oh how nice would that be, huh? So the Ismo, yep, the Ismo is coming for me, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna hit the speed boost to close the distance to the Ismo, get within my four kilometer range, torpedo his ass, and hopefully continue to hit this Taiho and light him a fire! Can I start a fire, please? Come on, damn it. Hit <laughs> fire! Oh, nothing. Oh, boo, come on, man. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, yes, there's a fire within four kilometer range of that Ismo, and he is just thinking, oh, crap, I'm dying. <laughs> he fires his stuff. <laughs> oh, man, I've been there, brother. I've been there plenty of times, so I feel for you. I'm still going to kill you, but I feel for you. Look at those fish flying. Boom! Devastating strike. Good night. Oh, crap. There is a Mogami there, though. He is too close for comfort. Pop smoke. Slow down. Oh, good. And those fires have stuck on that Taiho. Let us work between that Taiho. My fish are going to take forever to reload. I'm at, what, a minute 30 now? Oh, got another fire. Oh, good. And that is sticking. That means he cannot land aircraft. He cannot launch aircraft. All right, Mogami, he does have torpedoes. But, and they're probably gonna be coming. So I load my AP, cause look at that broadside though. Oh, AP going, boom, two citadels, look at that, nice. Boom, two more citadels, five citadels total. Look at, oh, keep going, come on, come on, more citadels. Oh, no, those are good hits though. Start moving, because I know those torpedoes are coming. Hey, and Citadel for the kill. Look at how I melted that Mogami. So fierce. There's the Taiho. Still burning. Oh, my lordy. I got AP loaded. Oh, he puts them out. And, okay, torpedo aircraft. Torpedoes from Mogami. Oh, I don't care. I just want to kill this Taiho. Three Citadels. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, my God. Shit's happening. Eight, nine <laughs> Citadels. <laughs> 11, 12 Citadels for high caliber arsonist and the kill. Oh my god, Atlanta Otago aircraft in them. <laughs> About that. Woo! <laughs> man, a lot of shit just happened right there, man. Oh, that was pretty <laughs> fast and furious right there. Oh, Raptor 180. Nice, Kiev. Good job. Thank you very much. You're welcome, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, man. Shit was happening left and right and center. Oh, that was fun. Good, good, good. Just nuked me an Ismo, burned me a Taiho, melted a Mogami with that AP. Oh, that's so good. And then AP'd the hell out of that Taiho for like 18 Citadels. 18. God, TF, man. Awesome. No, Senor is still alive, but I figured I'd cruise with Mr. Raptor. He gave me some kudos, so I'll just watch him do his magic. Because he's done pretty well for himself. He got himself two kills. Now, New Orleans down. All that's left is the Hotlanta and the Citadel that is the Otago. <laughs> I know some people really like the Otago. Stormy loves the Otago. And I do, too, because I can Citadel that thing anywhere <laughs> from anything <laughs> but nah, she's a good ship she's a good ship oh big citadels on that otago otago down good job mr raptor all we have now is the hotlanta i love that little ship too but she as well is a gigantic floating citadel <laughs> Good night, Mr. Atlanta. All right, guys, look at that score. With 300,000 credits, 
arsonist, high caliber, devastating strike, five torpedoes landed, kind of plain, four kills, eight fires, but 18 citadels. Boom, cha ching. To finish tops of the charts with 2,661 base XP. Senor, man, he was putting in some work as well. Got himself a kill in 2,354. That's pretty good, man. No caps to be had. That is just pure damage. I, I forget how much he had in his torpedoes. I think he had like 90,000 torpedo damage he, he accumulated. I mean, that was he was he was rocking those guys. You know, remember those battleships that were down there? He he was putting in some work on those guys. And the detail report. Wow, look at that damage. 52,000 AP. 52,000 AP damage. 24,000 HE. 38,000 in fires, 361 in flooding, <laughs> and 47,000 in torpedoes for a grand total of 163,719 damage. <sighs> Mr. Kia putting in work. 163,000 damage. That is a good day in the Kiev. Well, Captains, that was the Tier 7 Soviet Destroyer Kiev. This is definitely a keeper of mine, even though uh, Wargaming took out the Nerf Bat and beat the ever-loving tar out of her. She is still a very powerful ship and can do great amount of damage. Just have to keep your head on a swivel because your hit point pool is absolute rubbish and it doesn't take a lot to knock you out. So use your speed boost, use your smoke effectively. Don't sit in your smoke, but use it to conceal yourself and run away. And really think about using the premiums for those guys. It's around, what, 45,000 credits per game to run those two consumables. You know, that's that's nothing to, to shy home about, you know, but it is really important in the Kiev. And I am currently testing out the Concealment Expert in her. You saw in the second game, I didn't have it, and you know, 160,000 damage did okay. With the concealment, I did 100,000, and you know, that's, 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 that's good too. <laughs> but she is a real beast of a ship, and I think in the highlights, you can see what you can do in her. Use your AP shells when you get those broadsides, and sit wreck the hell out of cruisers. They're thinking, what in the world is hitting me? The Kiev. All right, Captains, thanks again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the videos and learned a little something about how to Kiev. Until next time, I'll see y'all in game. Have fun, fair seas.